Hey, Antioch, Sean here. I don't know if you've heard, but there is an election coming up. And if your experience has been anything like mine, you've probably been bombarded by TV ads, by by cards in the mail, none of which feel particularly helpful in this election season. So we wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about the election in a few different ways you might be feeling in these last few weeks before November 5th. And when it comes to our attitude about politics, what we've been hearing is that many of you tend to fall between one of two different buckets. For the first group of you, you might be feeling apathetic about the election or maybe like your vote doesn't matter. With the onslaught of all the political attack ads, you might have disengaged from the process or even feel annoyed with your options locally or nationally. If that's you, our encouragement to you would be to get more engaged. Our vision here at Antioch is to join God in the reconciliation of all things. And when we say all things, we really mean it. Part of our work as followers of Jesus is to not only be reconciled with God, but to be reconciled with our neighbors, with our city, with our state, and yes, our country. And engaging in the political process is one way in which we can do this. It may not be the main way, it's certainly not the only way, but it is one way in which we can practice reconciliation. As one pastor says, a vote is kind of like a prayer for the world we desire for ourselves and for our children. So we should use the privilege of voting wisely. So resist the temptation to check out. Stay engaged. Stay informed. Pay attention, especially to the issues facing us in our community here and across the country. And also to be mindful of where your information comes from. Try to listen to verifiable sources, to be aware of bias and discern whether you're being drawn towards love of neighbor or towards fear of neighbor. So that's the bucket that you tend to fall, and I hope you'll get a little bit more engaged in the election. For others of you, you might be on the opposite end of the spectrum. You might be so engaged that the election is the only thing you can think about or talk about. You might even be feeling really anxious about the election. If that's you, our encouragement would be to take a step back and to pause, to take a deep breath and to hear this. Whether your candidate wins or loses, Jesus will still be king. Now that doesn't mean everything is out of our hands, doesn't mean that your vote doesn't matter. We just talked about staying engaged and being informed and staying involved, but we want our faith in Christ to right-size our feelings and our anxiety about the election because the fate of God's kingdom does not depend upon political contests. No matter who wins, our work will continue. Our work of reconciliation, the the work of justice, the work of loving our neighbor, the work of taking care of our planet, combating the climate crisis, the work of caring for the poor, the work of valuing life from the womb to the tomb, valuing life in schools, valuing life in prisons, no matter what, our prayer is that in this election season, your first allegiance would be to Jesus as King. In fact, we have 10 commitments that will help you prioritize Jesus as your first allegiance this election season and every election season, and you can find them below. So as I close, let me pray a blessing over you. When we vote, may we cast our ballots to honor the image of the Lord in our neighbors, loving them as ourselves. For those who lead in ways of love, joy, peace, and patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we vote, can we believe that Jesus showed us a way where the first are last and the poor are blessed, the vulnerable are protected, and the children are welcome. When we vote, can we vote to teach our children how we live out the values of God's kingdom in our hearts, in our homes, in our choices, in our communities, and in what we say, in what we do, in what we cultivate, in what we sow long after election day is over? And when we vote, can we believe that God is a God of justice, peace, truth and righteousness, mercy and grace, of hope and healing? Amen.